Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Loyalty and Loyalty TV. And today we're back in Asia, in Vietnam, to learn all about Lotus Miles, the loyalty program for Vietnam Airlines. Vietnam Airlines is part of the Sky Team Alliance. And our guest today is Thi Thu Hien Tran, Deputy Director of Lotus Miles based in Hanoi in Vietnam. Hien shares the journey from Lotus Miles from its original launch in 2010 through to today and all of their latest achievements in loyalty. I hope you enjoy our conversation. So, Hien, welcome to Let's Talk Loyalty and Loyalty TV. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Paula. Great, great. Yes, I feel it's long overdue, Hien, that we uh, we didn't get to meet each other, unfortunately, at the event we both attended earlier in the year in Krakow in Poland. Uh, but we've managed to connect now over the virtual uh, miles and here to talk about your incredible loyalty program and a little insight in terms of what's happening in the Vietnam market. It's one I know very little about. So thank you for being with us today. Um, as you know, Hien, we always do start this show with the same question, which is really nice and familiar for our audience. So before we talk about Lotus Miles, if you don't think about that program and think about something maybe as a loyalty professional or just as a consumer, what would you say is your favorite loyalty program? Yeah, the, my favorite uh, loyalty program that I use every week is actually the BRG loyalty program with uh, at my uh, you know, in my neighborhood, I do grocery shopping every week. Okay. So, yeah. So it's become very familiar with me. Okay. So you're using it yeah. week in and week out and you're loyal to the one place, yeah? Yes. Okay. And what is their structure of their program here and why do you like it? Uh, they, they make it very simple. You know, um, I uh, when we spend over there, then they... We uh, earn some points, and from uh, the the next time we shop uh, there, the, there will be some cashback. So okay, so very simple program, but uh, I think it it also works. Of course, of course, yes. yes. Well, yeah. I think that already is a lesson here. And, um, I'm definitely a fan of simplicity. I feel like sometimes yes. as loyalty professionals, we can overcomplicate our propositions uh, beyond mm -hmm. what some of the members actually understand. So I like that focus and hopefully it's something that uh, is being taken through in terms of Lotus Miles as well. So, so that's wonderful. And I have to confess, I know very little about Vietnam. So let's get started with with you, Hien, in terms of your own career. How did you get to this wonderful role with Lotus Miles? Tell us your background. Yeah, uh, my, 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 my journey with Vietnam Airlines started very, uh, I think, like co 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 coincidence, uh, coincidentally. So okay. after graduate from uh, university, uh, Vietnam Airlines, they have an uh they they have a um, recruitment okay. uh and then i attend i attend the competition and uh i got into the uh, into vietnam allies and at that time we didn't i didn't expect that because you know normally we we think that uh, to be able to work in vietnam allies is something very difficult to achieve right but uh yeah and yeah and okay. i i i started my journey with Vietnam Airlines as an interline manager and sales manager. So okay. I work a lot in, uh, I work with about 75 uh, airlines in the world. Okay. We negotiate all the interline agreements. Okay. And yeah, and then sales manager for North America and uh, Europe. So I'm, I'm very familiar with those part of the world. The Amazing. Markets. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, after that, I found that uh, okay. I see that uh, Lotus Fly, the frequent flyer program, we um, our previous gen generation of leader, they started it in nineteen ninety nine. Okay. So by the time by two thousand and ten, uh, the program already achieved some 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 milestone, but uh, but still not commercialized yet. Okay. So I, I think the top management, they want to commercialize the program. And then mm -hmm. uh, with the background in sales, they want to send me there to, yeah. to, yeah, to okay. do the job, to, to, to make it become a revenue center. Okay, so, interesting. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so I, I joined 
and also at that time, I think it's a good time to to have to add another um, expertise into my 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 experience uh, as a amazing data yeah data driven marketing is something I want to to learn. Incredible and uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that was a long time ago. I don't want to age mm. you, but I think on your LinkedIn mm. we can see 23 years already since that, yes. as you said, that wonderful opportunity directly out of university, joining what I believe is still a state-owned airline. Is that fair to say? Yes, uh, we are 86% owned by the government now. Interesting. Okay, so yes. not surprising when the frequent flyer program, which of course was a much more popular term back then than perhaps it is now. So I can understand perhaps it mightn't have been very commercial when it started. I think you shared that the numbers were quite low in terms of the membership. So we'll certainly mm. talk through the whole journey of Lotus Miles, absolutely. But even before mm. we get into that, Hien, because Vietnam is a country that I know so little about, I just checked on Wikipedia for one piece of information, and I learned that actually it's the 15th most populous country on the planet with 100 million people. So actually it's a huge country. Tell us about loyalty a little bit more generally. Um, is it, would you say, a mature market? Are there lots of programs? You mentioned your favorite grocery program, of course, in terms of cashback, which is very basic, and I see that in a lot of markets. But are there other programs in Vietnam that, uh, that we should be aware of? Yeah, uh, back in 2010, not so many. We yeah, one of the few loyalty program, but now you know, yeah, uh, you, you can see that we have one hundred uh, million, uh, the population of one hundred million people, right? And uh, yeah, and uh, the urban population here is about thirty percent, okay. so about 30, 30 million people living in different big city. Yeah. So those are the ones that using different loyalty program, and uh, the good thing is now, you know, within our ecosystem, uh, all the partners. Uh, you know, most of the major company, yeah. they have their own loyalty program. Okay. So it's very, yeah, it's, it's, it's I, I'm, I'm so happy to see that kind of uh, emerging yeah. uh, loyalty program yeah, in, in Vietnam. It's become very popular now. Okay. So all yeah. sectors like retail, telecommunications, grocery, obviously airlines and hotels, you would say that yes. like most markets, it's quite, uh, quite well established, yeah? Yes. Okay, super. Yeah. So mm -hmm. tell us then, Lotus Miles, as you said, when you joined, and thank you for uh, for having your mug. Uh, actually, that's just a, a moment of pride when I see you with the Let's Talk yes. Loyalty <laughs> mug coming mm -hmm. on screen. That's brilliant. So take us back to 2010, Hien, when you started, as you said, as the person responsible for commercializing the loyalty program, taking it beyond purely frequent flyer for, I guess, people who were doing exactly that, flying frequently. So back in 2010, what was the membership like? What was the brand like? And take us on the journey of how you've developed the program in the last 13 years. Um, yes, so in, back in 2010, the program only have uh, 170,000 members. Okay, yeah. And over the years until now, we already achieved, uh, this, this August, we oh. achieved 5 million. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah, we just celebrated five million uh, members. That's this year. great. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And um, yes, and um, you know it's a it's a it's a big milestone over there. Uh, in two thousand and ten people tend to think Vietnam Airlines loyalty program is just for the very VIP people. Yeah. <laughs> frequent, of course. Very frequent uh, travelers, right? Yeah. And at that time, already some of my uh, colleagues already go out, went out to the world and learn about uh, the retailing mm -hmm. uh, on in loyal, uh, on airline loyalty program already. Okay. And we we brought back uh, to the program, but uh, the limitation is, uh, you know, there's still some limitation on the revenue side. So the process of uh, the journey of moving from a uh, Revenue center to a uh, uh, to uh, from a cost center to revenue center yeah. is is a long way. Of yeah. course, and uh, the first the first few years there, I need to go. You know, we we went out to learn from different allies like uh, 
yeah, the, all the, by gift transfer product. So we set up those kind of products. Uh huh. Uh, so that you know, members can be able to buy uh, the the my if they want. In the past, if they want to to yeah, to, yeah they are like a uh, few few miles. So they need to. They don't know where to apply. It, and sometimes we have to approve a lot of those, and that added to the the reven revenue. Now it's account for about uh, for that by gift transfer. It's account for sometimes it can be account for one fourth of the total revenue. For us. A quarter, yeah? Yes, a quarter, a quarter. And are you, yes. just to make sure I understand correctly, Hien, is that mm. for people mm. who are literally buying miles for themselves yeah. and for gifting? Is that what you said? Yes, yes. Okay, fascinating. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Actually... In Vietnam, yeah, yeah. It's a, uh, you know, the platinum card or the gold card is a really, is a, a favorite, uh, favorite gift that people want to give to each other. Oh, so they can buy a go card, can they? Yes. Wow. Yes, yes. <laughs> I like that. I did not know that. So it's not yes. just miles for traveling or mm. upgrading, of course. They can actually buy, yeah. buy status from you. Yes. Wow. Okay. And I would mm. love to get a sense of the pricing. And you're probably going to quote me in Vietnamese currency, which we're going to have to do a translation on. Or maybe you know it in US dollar equivalent. So forgive me, I don't. Yeah. But what would it cost mm. if I wanted to buy a gift card, pardon me, a gold card for for my family, my husband, something like that? What what do you charge for that? A gold card can uh, 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 would cost you 3,000 US. 3,000 uh, US? Uh, wow. Yeah, for one year. Yeah. One year membership. Interesting. And uh, the, pla yeah, the platinum, the, the highest one is uh, 5,000. My goodness. I like that idea. Yes, I mean, yeah. I think we've seen in some markets perhaps that um, status is becoming too easily accessible. But what I'm hearing is in a country like Vietnam with such a huge population and a relatively small, I think, loyalty program compared to the opportunity size, then obviously that's a big, mm. big opportunity, big idea. So that's super exciting. So, yeah, and this year the team uh, on that product. This year the team do it more personalized. Right? Okay. So yeah. they will look at the record, uh, the customer record, and okay, okay. If you like, we it take about fifty fly for us to for for the uh, frequent travelers to become our platinum. So they look okay. at the data. If you reach like uh, mm -hmm. 40, 45, so we offer a kind of promotional rate over there okay uh for them to buy so you know that uh, we receive a lot of um yeah uh, yeah uh, the, the the customer inquired yeah uh, inquiry on that product a lot and they buy a lot interesting so, like a luxury yes. good in vietnam it is yeah. a luxury good i love that and i'm guessing yeah. a lot of our audience if they haven't thought about it before because i can assure you i've never thought about it before but because it's a one year piece and of course you have a clear understanding of when the market might become saturated. But in the meantime, yeah. it sounds like a very good way to, uh, as you said, gift people, enjoy a luxury experience, give them a taste yes. of what it's like to be a premium member of a program like Lotus Miles. So, so that's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. The thing is, you know, we see that other allies, uh, when I, when I started the BGT product in 2012, Okay. Uh, we 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 look at other airlines. They are doing. Uh, se they sell they sell segment right and uh, yeah. segment or one thousand miles. But then I I say that okay. I, we just sit down and uh, think. If we sell um, one segment like single segment or uh, thousand miles, why don't we sell the whole whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Mm. And I liked your approach, actually, that you told us, Ian, uh, when you did decide that there was a much bigger opportunity for the program, you really took mm. a lot of time to go and travel around the world. I know you went yes. to the US, you went to so many different markets. You sat mm. with the loyalty managers. I know you asked them about their platform and technology. So talk us through that process, because I feel like you did a very good job on the research. Um, what I have been doing in my career the last 23 years mm. is uh, to learn from the best practice. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So when uh, in 2010, it's also we, uh, Vietnam ally also joined Sky Team. So it's a, it's a really good experience for us to, yeah. to have all the partners. 
uh, yeah. within a sky a sky, sky team uh, where they support us a lot like yeah i've been travel to to learn uh, from you know korean air mm-hmm. uh, from delta delta yeah. you know help us a lot okay and um yeah and they 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 have arranged time to to train us on you know different modules okay functions yeah mm-hmm. i have to learn very basic uh, from how to develop a partnership the strategy on partnership the strategy on a non air on air partnership yeah uh, it yeah. Uh, fraud prevention yeah all of those uh, we have to come and then they organize a whole day i still remember the whole day at in at, atlanta or um, uh, headquarters and yes. uh, they bring different people to 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 coach us to Amazing. show us what yeah and uh, yeah fantastic organizing yeah so um then i also went to learn not only from the advanced uh, program but also from the growing um program okay. like aeromexico yeah uh, also within sky team so we also have to travel to aeromexico in to mexico to learn from them nice and uh, you know the 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 best you know the the pitfall right of loyalty program is yeah. uh, air canada aeroplan uh-huh. i also went up to there to <laughs> okay <laughs> we, we with the, the yeah um, we formed one two people um some uh, a few other colleagues went out with me and yes. we went to aeroplan uh, to to learn from uh, from them amazing so, okay yeah so what i'm hearing from you is that the alliance has of course incredible mem- uh, benefits for members in terms of obviously yes. that global positioning mm. and all of the benefits of being part of a beautiful alliance but on the yeah. internal side as well you had instant access to people who were as you said either more experienced or perhaps also emerging so you can take all mm. of those learnings and fast track how best to build those smiles yeah yes incredible a, uh, yeah. we have to learn from different, uh, different yeah. program not only yeah, yeah. lovely <laughs> that they were so generous with you huh yeah, sometimes, you know, this, I can write a book about about that, right? Sometimes they don't want to <laughs> yeah. uh, to meet. Okay. Uh, we, we we ask them for meeting and training and then they don't want to do that. And I try to, you know, pursue it. And sometimes I have to write a very heartful, uh, <laughs> Email? heartfelt um, yes. letter myself. Okay. To, <laughs> so that they, they can organize. They I think the... And after maybe for some partners like uh, Delta or Korean Korean Air, it's, it's taken me one year to persuade them to, to train us. Oh my goodness! Okay, so you're yes. very persistent. We are small. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I love that. I love that. <laughs> and tell us about the brand change as well here. And I know one of the ah. pieces of uh, learning, I guess, when you joined the the program was that the brand didn't feel accessible or appropriate for the scale that you wanted in terms of growing this program. So I think the previous brand was Golden Lotus. Was that uh, correct? So tell us yes. about your decision to rebrand it. Yeah. So the first, um, you know, the story, uh, our, our previous generation leaders, they are also very talented. They see that, uh, you know, other allies, they have loyalty programs. So we also should have some one. Yeah. So they make it uh, because we are very Lotus uh, related, right? So they put it Golden Lotus. Okay. And uh, over the year, uh, Golden Lotus become too privileged, right? It's, it's other people, they only think that, uh, you know, the, the, the main, the majority of the population, they think that it's, it's only for the uh, VIP, as okay. I said. So it's become yeah. not very, not very um, friendly with, uh, okay. with the, mm-hmm. when we want to go into more popular in the market. Right? Yeah. When we go into the more retailing. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah. So uh, in 2015, we have a Vietnam Ally has a. The good thing is in 2015, Vietnam Ally has a major um, brand identity change. We have some change into the in the logo uh, of Vietnam Allies and okay. also it is we we took that chance to to propose that uh, we also change um, the 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 lo- uh, Golden Lotus uh, program. You know, the first thing is. Um, when we learn we study about branding right uh, golden lotus yeah plus program so it's it's, it's a very long name it's okay. not easy <laughs> to mention right yeah yeah <laughs> and we have to make it a shorter and yeah. then we have to make it more friendly okay and more lively yeah, yeah. more 
easy to access, accessible to more people. Beautiful, right? So yeah, so that yeah. that is the that is the 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 requirement that we ask the that we put into the consult uh, to to the consultant. Okay, he came from uh, the Japan, right? Okay, yeah, and 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 then he proposed uh, different option and 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 one of the option is uh, Lotus Smile. Okay, and then yeah. Uh, my and lotus smile uh, my and smile right so there's a playing with words here very nice so miles and uh, lotus smile okay yeah. L- miles and yeah. smiles huh yeah so yeah. but you know at the same time uh, this this is uh, shorter easy to yeah. easy to to pronounce but also at the same time it's very very challenging for us and uh, because you know when you put smile over there, that means you know everywhere you go. Uh-huh. If you are representing the Lotus Smile program, you have to smile, right? You, you cannot keep the serious <laughs> uh, face. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the brand yeah. I'm so, hearing is all about being friendly, accessible, um, fun. Um, is is yeah. that fair to say in terms of the intention of the that rebrand to make it more available and uh, simple, more, even? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm, super. Mm. Okay. So you rebranded then, as you said, 2015. And then I know 20, 2015. Yeah. And 2016 then was a much bigger year again. Tell us about the commercial decision to uh, to make changes in 2016. 2016 is uh, we reached one, one million uh, oh. members. Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, the thing is in 2016, we, we successfully, um, you know, uh, separate uh, Lotus Mai as a division uh, in a in the sales marketing department become a, a independent unit okay. of Vietnam Airlines. So this that is a big organizational change, of course, uh, within uh, Vietnam Airlines. Yes. Yeah, and uh, I was uh, I was taking part in in that process of putting up a, a, a project on that, and uh, mm. that one maybe one of the longest. Uh, you know the tickets um, the project that we, we we came up with more than one hundred pages. Okay. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow. Big big decision. Yeah. Yeah. To to reorganize. Uh, you know to separate. Um, yeah. Lotus my from from okay. sale and marketing to make it an independent uh, unit business. Uh, and we yeah. yeah yeah and and that is a really big big project and we have a big team working with us and we did extensive. Um, reading and citing different document but yeah. you know the the amazing thing is uh, we only finish we finished that within only four months okay super so yeah. once you made the decision it was it was yeah. quite easy to implement and yes. that's quite a long time ago now so i guess we're coming to the end of 2023 so coming up on eight years as a separate business unit i know you've got your own PL. would you say that it's mm. still the right structure are you comfortable that lotus miles belongs as an independent business unit um you know operating i suppose quite separate to the airline is that something that you still feel is the right structure for you yeah we actually uh that is a Direction that other airlines is, was going right yeah, have yeah. been going and we just learned from them but okay we also earlier this year we also look at uh, look back reflect back to see whether that is the right direction or not but then when we look at the yeah. you know the numbers of members with five million compared with one million in 2016 yeah and um, yeah the revenue is uh, the revenue is 40 times now compare with 2010 oh my goodness that's great yes okay yeah, so multiplying so yeah, yeah multiplying so and then with the, the our network of partnerships yeah we, we work with all uh, most of the major partners in, in vietnam and then we also have uh, part of that project we what we propose is to upgrade our system we use another system before Comac and uh, okay and and then yeah we need to upgrade that uh, we have need to 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 you know yeah buy a new system to accommodate more yeah more, more members more data more members yes right? and uh, that is where we 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 found Comac okay and uh, yeah, yeah during during that time I was in Singapore as a GM so okay. my team back here they 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 work with Comac and that is the, yeah. the project that implement within two years within COVID. 
People Amazing. meet only one time and everything done during COVID. Oh my goodness. Online. I didn't yes, realize. Is, yeah. Mm. I didn't realize mm. it was so recently here and that you moved over to the, the, the Comark platform. Yeah, we, we, yeah. we, we was, uh, recently, I think 2021. Okay, incredible. Mm. And I saw some videos that you guys did together. And uh, yeah. first of all, amazing that it was through COVID. Secondly, <laughs> I think English is not your first language, nor is it the first language for most people in Poland, of course. So yeah. the fact that you've managed to create such a beautiful relationship and what oh. I really liked was, I know you said in the video that that was also coming from some of these airlines as a referral and a recommendation. So mm. yeah, I just want to say well done to the guys in Comark for winning your business, uh, but based on existing happy clients in the industry. Yeah. 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 And the Comark is also very like uh, agile because at that time we also ha don't have a uh, big bu budget of so course. they also offer good uh, yeah, okay. good commercial terms okay okay i mm. think our audience will be pleased mm. to hear that brilliant stuff <laughs> the other piece i wanted to touch on here and was just i guess what are you most proud of i know you've built a a simple but scaled solution you've got your co-brand card mm. as you said you've got lots of partners so you've built the proposition you've taken it beyond a frequent flyer program into something much more accessible you've rebranded it is there anything else that you're super proud of with lotus miles that we should talk about um, I think um, there's different things. I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm proud of the Lotus Smile. The one of the things I'm from sales, right? Commercial yeah. people. So okay. <laughs> the the growth in revenue is uh, and 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 the growth when you see that uh, the spending of the co brand card mm -hmm. uh, by Vietnam Airlines and Lotus Smile program okay. yeah. with other banks in Vietnam mm. is uh, you know we we see the grow over the year and it yeah. become more popular when people yeah um, the, the people who doesn't fly they don't fly a lot but they earn miles and a lot of people become yeah. platinum or gold just okay. just spending on Vietnam Airlines okay and they. Yeah, and they um, a lot of our customer they 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 don't have to buy the airline ticket. They just redeem their miles and they travel business class everywhere. Okay. So yeah, because Vietnamese are also very entrepreneur, right? They 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 have, they have okay. the, a lot of them are yeah yeah they are businessmen, a businesswoman. Okay. They, yeah yeah. So so that when you see and uh, when you see the mix of. Um, you know the the mice and the travel okay and yeah and um when i see those kind of uh of, of customer who yeah. use our mice to bring the whole family on business class or to paris or to singapore yeah, yeah. that is a that is a i feel a, pr a pride uh, you know proud i feel proud over okay. there yeah feel so emo so tough yeah. when you can bring those kind of um Totally. Uh, yes. Experiences for people. That practice is uh, yeah. in, in, we see that it's happened in, uh, in, in US, right? In North yeah. America, in other parts of the world, in Europe, but yeah. it recently become a, very, uh, a practice in, in Vietnam. For so sure. Yeah. We, we proud, the whole team, we are proud that uh, we bring some international standard and uh, practice mm -hmm. uh -huh. into Vietnam market. So that is the, the, uh, we Wonderful. bring something for the Vietnamese uh, consumer. Yes. And it's lovely yeah. to hear that the seats are being made available, Hien, because sometimes in many markets, for example, I'm seeing a lot of PR in, in, um, in different places, like I think Australia at the moment, is quite difficult to get reward seats for people who have been loyal to, to, to different airlines. But if you're making mm. those available at scale again for an entire family to travel business class and to get the ultimate rewards, of course, which is to get those free tickets with their people that you love and create those experiences so no wonder you're very proud of that and clearly what you're doing okay. is bringing your revenue management colleagues on the same journey so they're supporting you and making those seats available for the people who are being loyal to the airline yeah you know when we learn about the loyalty airline loyalty uh, strategy um, one of the most important factors for for airline loyalty program to be yeah. successful is you need to be operated in a 
uh, well, you know, the highly populated countries. Yes. And you should have more uh, short haul sectors. Of course. Short haul segment. Yeah. Where you know people can redeem. Yes. Right? Yeah. So, nice. So so in Vietnam, we what we have uh, we have that kind of factor. Okay. So when we look at those um, uh, those fact, that is all the the, the fundamentals. Uh, okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Important to the get basics, it right. That, uh, yeah. Yeah. So we we will never forget the basic. And sometimes mm -hmm. you know we will get forget about why we started, and then I always I'm I'm always the one who bring everybody back. You know, we have to go back to the basic. Yeah. Take care <laughs> of people. Wonderful. Yeah. So mm. what does the future hold, Hien? Um, coming in now, as we said, to 2024, you sound like you have really achieved uh, some great results already, bringing the business along in terms of getting to a 5 million membership and all of those other wonderful propositions. So what are you thinking is important for the future of Lotus Miles? Uh, yeah, so the first, uh, in the next, the next five years, uh, mm -hmm. we want to become... Uh, we are have we have been um, you know co like setting up the coalition with yeah. different partners in Vietnam, right? Okay. But uh, we want to be mega coalition. Okay. Right? Mega. Mega super, coalition. Um, so many. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and and that needs to be done through um, you know uh, API, not not just by by agreements, right? So of course. We, we have to invest a lot on uh, IT. Okay. Uh, as well, and uh, and the other thing is we want we want to you know to bring more chance of earn and burn okay uh, to the consumer in vietnam okay so that is uh yeah so it's become make lotus my become a, a really valuable ecosystem in vietnam okay so that uh, yeah so you know loyalty come back to ally loyalty come back to the very basic we did sky team a few years ago mm -hmm. uh we have a we have a campaign uh, mm -hmm. or a project called that uh, back to basic right okay back to the basic yes of uh, nice earn and burn okay yes. okay and, uh, normally uh, you know when mentioning uh, talking about loyalty people will think that it's a uh, very complicated but we if the professional like us we make it complicated it's become complicated yeah so, so every time i go out to talk with my team or yeah customer right loyalty is just earn and burn and our main mm -hmm. responsibility and main uh, vision, uh, right? Okay. Main job is to increase the chance for customer to yeah. to earn more and to burn more. I love so, it. Okay, so, yeah. back to basics. Keep it simple. Back to basic. More earning and more burning, and it's uh, everybody's happy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wonderful wonderful yeah so listen i don't have any more questions for you today hien is there anything else yeah. that you wanted to mention before we wrap up i think it's that's enough i uh yeah, okay we cover almost everything yeah it's a wonderful so, story yeah. yes and i i please god will get to vietnam someday like we talked off air i'm not sure when but it's a it's a country i'm fascinated by and it'd be really exciting to meet you in person so with all of that said Titu Hien Tran, Deputy Director of Lotus Miles for Vietnam Airlines. Thank you so much from Let's Talk Loyalty and Loyalty TV.